Today we will see examples related to linear symmetry and rotational symmetry. In the below given figure, find whether linear symmetry and rotational symmetry of greater than order 1 are there or not. When the two sides of the shape are coincident, when the shape is folded along a line, that is, one half of the shape is a mirror image of the other half, then we can say that the figure has linear symmetry. Here the vertical line divides the shape in such a way that the left half of the shape is a mirror image of the right half. Hence, the figure has linear symmetry. The line along which we see linear symmetry when we turn it is called a symmetric line. In this figure, the vertical line, horizontal line and slant lines are also symmetric lines. Rotational symmetry in a figure occurs when after rotation, the shape appears as before according to the position. If during a round rotation, only once the shape matches the initial shape, that is, as before, then we say that the figure has rotational symmetry of order 1. But if the shape matches the initial shape two or more times while rotating, then we can say that the figure has rotational symmetry of more than one order. Here we see that if we rotate the figure at an angle of 90 degree around the center, then we get the figure exactly matching the initial shape. Similarly, if we rotate the figure at angles of 180 degree, 270 degree and 360 degree, then in these cases, also we get a shape matching the initial shape. In this way, there are four positions in an entire circle of the shape when the shape looks the same as before. So we can say that the shape has a rotational symmetry of order 4. Thus the given figure has both linear symmetry and rotational symmetry of more than one order. Next example, draw the rough shape of a quadrilateral which does not have linear symmetry but has rotational symmetry greater than one order. A parallelogram that has no right angle and has different lengths of adjacent sides is an answer to this question. Can you tell me why? Think, think. Let us tell you. This is a quadrilateral in which we cannot draw any symmetrical line. That is, it does not have linear symmetry. But, if it is rotated around the centre at an angle of 180 degree and 360 degree, then we see the same shape as before. Since in a complete round, twice the shape appears exactly as before, we can say that it has rotational symmetry of order 2. An answer to the question given in this way is a parallelogram that has no right angle and the length of the adjacent sides are different. Can a rhombus be the answer of this question? Think, think. Let us tell you. Two symmetrical lines can be drawn in a rhombus, so it has linear symmetry. But, we need a quadrilateral that does not have linear symmetry. Therefore, this is not the answer of the given question. Think about all types of quadrilaterals and discuss with your friends and find out which quadrilateral has how many symmetrical lines and the order of rotational symmetry. 
So today we have seen examples related to linear symmetry and rotational symmetry. A few more examples will be seen in the next video.